How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. Uh, well, it's Monday, so let's go through what I got in this weekly haul. Uh, I wasn't, it wasn't as much as I normally get because I've been really busy, but um, yeah, so let's just dive into it and see what I got in. Okay, let's see what we got in. Let's start off with First Appearance of the Rat King. And I had no idea that he first appeared in Tales to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles until recently. This cover is really cool. Black Adam, number one, Alex Ross cover. I like this cover a lot. Uh, I actually, I think I saw the original art for this at one point for sale like years and years and years ago. Uh, Fantastic Four, 353. This is going up in value like crazy because um, one of the characters in here is appearing in the Loki TV show. There we go. First black suit, kind of ish, full black suit, I guess, of Spider Man, Spider Man 252, Spider Man 29. It's pretty high grade. This book is the reprint, but again, it's going to skyrocket right now. Invincible. And if you haven't checked out the TV show, check it out. I love it. This is a collection of uh, the Valiant versions of the Nintendo characters. They put a bunch of the issues in here. Um, now this, these next couple ones right here are 30, this is a 30 cent variant. And if you can't tell, if you look up here, <clears throat> see the price difference? 25, 30 cent. And I'll be going over this in my market analysis. So check that out on Wednesday. And also I have the same thing. But this is the Eternals, number one. So this is a much more sought after one. But yeah, so check it out on Wednesday. I'll go into more detail Oops. of what that's all about, what a 30 cent variant is. All right, Space Jam. This book, is first appearance of the Thunderbolts, and it was interesting. This book was going up a lot, and with like some speculation like years ago, and I bought a bunch, and then it just kind of softened. I don't know if there's like no movement, or maybe the movie or TV show or whatever's going on got canceled or something like. But there's now all of a sudden some movement again, and it's going up. First cameo, of Gunslinger, right here. First appearance of the current Zemo. I know there's another Zemo. Um, but yeah. Doctor Strange, number one. Thundercats. Now, if you notice, I have a lot of these. And there's a reason why. There's a movie coming out, or supposed to be, and so I've been stockpiling them. First appearance of Mr. Sinister. I always like this cover, but I'm jaded because I this was one. I think this is the only Silver Surfer book I had as a kid. It's number two. Tales of the Ozone, old independent thing from the '70s, I believe. Now this Ghost Rider, number one, and you're like, okay, Ghost Rider number one, awesome, right? I think this book. May come back 9.6 or 9.8. Oops, <laughs> as I hit it. No, I hit the metal thing. But yeah, 9.6 or 9.8. So hopefully that's what we'll come back as. I'm hoping because that'd be crazy. Iron Fist 14 for Sabretooth. X Men 94. And it's just so crazy this book. Like, it's interesting how your mind like remembers past prices and so just puts those past prices on the the new prices and I'm like this book it's like I remember picking this book up for like 125 150 dollars you know maybe like five or six years ago and to me it's like okay that's what it's worth but now these books are like thousands of dollars not even like you don't need like a nine eight you can literally just get a you know like in a mid grade 
and it will just, yeah, it's just crazy, crazy to me. Um, Silver so Surfer, second appearance. First appearance, Adam Warlock. Well, he's technically him at this point. Later turns into Adam Warlock and Thor uh, 165. Turtle Adventures. I think this one will come back a 9 8. Crisis. I think that'll be a 9 8 as well. First appearance of Galactus in the Silver Surfer. Are you done licking yourself? The dog was licking her paw. Uh, Young Avengers, first appearance. Uh, Star Wars 42. Another tale of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one. First appearance of Falcon, who is in Falcon the Lonely Soldier. X Men 61. Another X Men 94. This one will probably grade around a seven. I'm going to have to put these back and start a new stack. So give me a second. As I'm doing that, if you guys haven't subscribed, uh, if you would think about subscribing, um, I had a goal of a thousand to end by this month. Um, I'm recording this on the weekend, so this will come out tomorrow, and I don't think I'll be there yet, but I'm very close. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks. I'm sorry I had to say that again, but I'm trying to hit that goal. All right. Zelda number one. Another first Thunderbolts. This book I have a few copies of. Kind of could be in something cool. Um, they're thinking about optioning for a movie. This right here. And then this book will come back a 9 8. Pretty sure. And it's just crazy how much this book has gone up. I mean, you could have got a 9.8 for under $1,000. Now they're in the 3000 range. Um, there's a movie supposed to be made. The TV show is amazing. I have one episode left. Um, I can't, you know, I would I would give that movie like a, a 9 out of 10. Only reason it gives a 9 instead of a 10 uh, is because the art is kind of, eh, I wish it was better. This is kind of cool. It's a variant cover of Metal Gear. Another Thundercats. Maybe I'll do this. This would be easier. First Shocker. First appearance King Shark. Fantastic Four, 44. This is the second printing. You can tell because his mask is off. First Bronze Age comic book. It's considered like the first Bronze Age comic book. Spider Man 252. Another 252. This book has been going up a lot recently. Um, just because people will want a Hulk 181. They can't get a Hulk 181, so they'll try a Hulk 180. You can't get that, so the next best thing is either that Hulk 340, or I guess you could get a Hulk uh, 182, but now there's got a couple of Thundercats. These will probably all come back 9.8s, or at least I'm hoping they will. Just a nice little run of Thundercats. As you can tell, I have a lot of Thundercats. So, I'm assuming that when the movie comes out, you know, that's when I'll probably start unloading them. And if nothing happens, then I'll just have a bunch of Thundercats. <laughs> but, yeah. Here's Turtles 4, second print, which I always love this court, uh, cover because it's the video game cover. We got a 9-8 of that. 
I was pretty excited. We thought it would, I thought it would come back at 9.8. My brother thought it would come back at 9.6. Came back at 9.8. And, uh, yeah. So I was pretty excited about that because there's only six copies, including ours, that are a 9.8. So, kind of cool. First John Constantine. You guys have seen this book a ton. If you watch my channel, I always get about one or two copies a week. And that is on purpose. Star Wars number one. Let's put these books back. If you see any book in here and you want me to do a market analysis on, I'll be more than happy to. I have a list of ones that I want to do, you know, but then eventually once I get through my list, I don't got any. I know someone has commented on having the first Supergirl, Action 252. Uh, I will do that. I just like to have the book in hand before I do it. So once I get one, I will. So if you guys would like me to do something, and if I have the book, I will do a market analysis on it. Because I like to do that stuff. All right. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. This is not... The, they have many different... This is Super Mario Brothers. But there's uh, the one that you want that's the more, I guess, key version is the one where he's... Uh, it's like Super Mario Brothers 3 down here. And it's blue and it has him in a raccoon suit. That's the one, the key one. Nintendo Power. Sticker. Uh, Raphael number one. I've been slowing down getting these uh, because I have a ton. And it's kind of the Raphael number one, the market's kind of, I'm not saying like their nose dived and they're not worth anything anymore. It's softened. Uh, I have like, I think up in my eBay store and on my website, I have like 10 copies, I believe somewhere around there. And they've kind of been sitting. Um, I've even dropped the prices to be uh, more competitive. We're I always try, I try to be the cheapest or cheapest available for the most part. For the most part, not in every comic book. For the most part, but these been sitting. So I think it's they slowed down. They're not. It's not like they're just dived. I think it's we're at the point where they're kind of flatlined. If you can see my hand, just kind of flatlined. Um, so, but that's not for all turtles because I just sold. This is a third printing, Edo. I just sold a turtles number one third printing for a record price. Like as an Edo, I sold it even above, um, like even an eight five and a nine zero price. So it's not all turtles, it's just, uh, I think Raphael's kind of softened. I, I think because there's just so many available is the problem. All right, now some greatest stuff I have gotten in. Nine, six. This is the second printing. Hmm. Gargoyles. And then last one. This is the one I was talking about. If you're going to get one, that's the one you want. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, so I hope you like this kind of stuff. Um, I enjoy doing these videos. Like I said, if there's anything you want to see uh, in a market analysis, let me know and I'll try to get to do one. All right, thanks.